Hey everyone, happy Friday and happy holidays. I hope everyone had a fantastic Christmas. I hope Santa brought everyone the gift that they were looking for. Did you get the gift you were looking for under the tree? <laughs> I did. I had a great Christmas, so I'm coming to you today to do my Christmas haul, showing you everything I got for Christmas. So let's get started. I start off with this. I had this under the tree and it was filled with uh, gift cards here. Go through these. Uh, I got an iTunes card. I was like, okay. And then I also got an AMC card. Um, there's a movie card because uh, I love going to the movies. I collect movies also. I don't only collect books. I collect movies. Uh, I also got a Logan card. And this is to a restaurant here in the States. If you're international, I don't know if Logan's is international or not, but it's a restaurant. I really love it. Next, of course, you know I had to get an Amazon card. Uh, this will be used up pretty soon. And the best card of all, I got a $50 Barnes & Noble card. I started doing the habit dance. Hey, I'm going to Barnes & Noble. Look, I have to give Barnes & Noble some business cards. Yeah, Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> Stay in business, Barnes & Noble. I love going to the Barnes & Noble store. So, um, I got a Barnes, $50 Barnes & Noble card. I said, let me give them some business. So, yeah. Uh, I would like give me a, a Barnes and Noble card and an Amazon card. So uh, Barnes and Noble, they happen to do the Barnes and Noble at fifty dollars. I was like, yes, fan freaking fantastic. I was like, hey. And next, I also got a tripod. It's called the Gorilla Pod because I want to be able to film with my camera and my phone. So I can put my phone on here or my camera on here and it'll grip anywhere. I can set this up anywhere and record. And I was like, this will be great. So I got this for Christmas. Gorilla Pod. Uh, it's a tripod. I was like, yes. And you also know I got books. I was told that I can go to any used bookstore and pick out some books. So, yeah, you know I did that. So, let's, the first bookstore I went to, used bookstore, was McKay's Used Bookstore here in Tennessee. Uh, let me get those. First up, I got Wicked Intention. And this is the first book in the Maiden Lane series. Uh, I read The Duke of Desire. It was book number 15. And um, I think I rated it three and a half stars. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, so I was like, let me go and try out the first book in the series. So this is the first book in the series, Wicked Intention by Elizabeth Hope. And let me see when this was written. Look at there. Yeah, they doing too much. <laughs> uh, let me see when this was written. Uh, this was written in, this is copyright of 2010. And this is Elizabeth Hope, uh, book number one, Made in Lane series, Wicked Intentions. So, so let me try that out. Uh, next, I got Beautiful Lawman, and I saw this in there. I was like, "Let me try." I thought I thought it was just uh, going to be a three book series on the Devil Rock, the Devil Rock series, because I read all three of these books. This, I only enjoyed this one, the first one, All Chained Up, and then book number two was Hell Break Loose, and book number three was Fury on Fire. And all three of these was on like uh, men who were in prison and got out. Uh, I really enjoyed the first book, but these other two, yeah, they didn't do it for me. Uh, but I really enjoyed this one. And I think this book is going to be on the female lead in Fury on Fire. I think it's going to be on her brother because he's a cop. Because you see he got a little badge right there. And I was like, oh, she's still going on with um, Sophie Jordan still going on with the series. So I was like, let me try it out. I'll give it a try. Yeah, hopefully I like this one. I hope so. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. Because these other two, mm-mm. But I really enjoyed the first one. Have any of you tried All Chained Up? Check it out. Let me know what you thought about All Chained Up, the first book. Or did you like the whole series? Let me know. And this is Beautiful Lawman, Sophie Jordan. And when was this published? Let's see here. 20, January 2018. Next I have, um, I wanted to try out some books by Christina Lawrence. So I saw these two at um, McKay, so I got this. I got Sweet Fifty, Sweet Filthy Boy. Uh, let's see when this was published. I think this is in the Beautiful Bastard series, or maybe not. No, nope, maybe this is something else. Maybe this is just a different one. This is something else. Maybe um, this book is in the Beautiful Bastard series. I think. I don't know what this. I don't know if it, this is in a series or not, but. Uh, I, will, I wanted to check some of them right now, so I got this. Uh, 
it just maybe this wild season series i don't know book one or wild season i don't know <laughs> i have no idea but this was published oh this was published back in this way back 2014 yeah i'm late on this so yeah let me catch up so like let me check this out and i don't know how much i paid for these because uh i think i took the sticker off but i think the book like this right here maybe was five dollars i don't know i think so but I also got this card. Uh, Y'all know I like vintage stuff. So I saw that. I thought it was cute. And I paid 50 cent for this. And this is. Uh, if we live in the spirit. Let us also walk in the spirit. Galatian 525. I thought that was so cute. I was th I throw this on into the mix too. And got that. And then like I said. The beautiful bastard. Uh, I think this is beautiful bastard series. Let's see when this was published. Yeah, because here go all the books in the Beautiful Bastard. Yep, yeah, this is the Wild Season series. And this is this is the Beautiful Bastard series. You had the Beautiful Bastard, Beautiful beautiful Stranger, Beautiful Bitch, Beautiful Bombshell, Beautiful Player, and Beautiful Beginning. So this is book number one in the Beautiful... Uh, in the Oh, it's the Beautiful series. This is book number one in the Beautiful series. And this is book number one in the... Um, what did I say it was? Uh, the Wild Season series. And uh, how many books in the Wild Season? They got, oh, Sweet Filthy Boy and Dirty Rowdy Thing. And uh, they got two books in the Wild Season series. And when was this published? This was published in 2013. So beautiful bag, and these are in great condition. And I also bought, uh, I also got a uh, book card. A ship in harbor is safe, but that is not what ships are for. And I thought that was cute. Thought that was nice. Got that card too, and I paid. This was a dollar. So that wasn't bad. I got that, and this is the last book I got from McKay's. And this is a. I also wanted to read a book by Cora Carmack all lined up and this is rich university this is a rich university series i don't know what um book this is in the series but this was published in 20 it was published in 2014 also so i'm gonna try this one out and all of these look how great look how look how great shape they are in they in great shape this is great shape i don't know how much i paid for them i think maybe about four or five dollars for these the the big ones like this but look at there great shape so these are all i got from uh mckay's used bookstore i got these for christmas and next i went to found another used bookstore half price books i went to half price books i had to go to bowling green because we don't have a half price books here in uh nashville i was like you don't have no half price books in nashville really so we had to go to bowling green kentucky to the used bookstore and I racked up there too so let me get those uh, first I got when I walked in I was over there in the uh, CD section or and I saw this I love the Nutcracker uh, so these are all the songs from the Nutcracker so I'm gonna put this on the list to while I read my books and I paid a uh, got this for a dollar uh, next I have Cherry Adair on Thin Ice also a dollar from half price books and let me see when this was published this was published in 2004 yep 2004 got that that's in great shape got it for a dollar uh also i got this one by cherry there it looks like i've seen this cover look like i've read this before i might already have this book but i went ahead and got it because i read the synopsis it, it didn't trigger any memories or whatever so i went ahead and got it i don't know uh, In Too Deep by Cherry Adair. And let me see when this was published. This was published in 2002. Also a dollar. Uh, I got this one. It was also a dollar. This is Moscow Mist. I think that's Mist. Moscow Mist by Clarissa Ross. Uh, see if they have a. When this was published in here. I don't think they even. It don't even say this this is an old book i might have to just go and look that up when this was published but this is an old one a whole historical is in when i saw it was in great shape i was like let me get it except for this right here 
yeah but this was also a dollar uh next i got uh kamani Ro this is a kamani romance uh contemporary uh, by Antonia washington uh when i did my bookcase um tour uh i had another book i got a historical a historical by uh tonya washington so i was like i thought about that i was like let me get this right here in this rival desire uh a tonya white have any of you read anything by tonya washington uh her covers i i love her covers look at that cover beautiful her hit the um the cover on on that historical book that she wrote is beautiful i love this cover that caught my attention too and i was like let me try this out so i'm gonna give this a try and this is a contemporary and i paid a dollar for it and this was written in um 2008 look at that cover uh next i got courtney milan unclaimed historical and this, this is a Harlequin, his, Harlequin historical romance. I also paid a dollar for this. And let's see when this was written. It was 2011. I'm not going to read the back or any of these. I'm just going to go through them because I got quite a few books here. Uh, this was 20. This was published in 2011. I like that cover too. Next, I got uh, his uh, Harlequin historical. Another one, The Tender Stranger, uh, Carolyn Davidson. I like Carolyn Davidson, right? So I was like, let me check this out. And this was also a dollar. From half price books uh i had to get this a walk to remember i love this movie i got this movie around here somewhere i might have showed it when i did um i did uh, some videos on my favorite romance movie and i think this was in there a walk to remember i never read the book i always looked at the movie so i was like let me get the book a try a try and um uh, it got the two actors on here i forgot what her name is Mand mandy moore i think and I don't, I don't know what his name is, but I enjoyed the movie. So I was like, let me get this. It was a dollar. So I was like, let me check it out by Nicholas Spark. And last but not least, I got a, a Keiki Warner book, a his, a historical Western, Where the Horses Run. And I also paid a dollar for this. And these all came from, from uh, Half Price Books. And let me see when this was published. This was published in 2014. And this one was published in... This Nicholas Spock was published in 1999, A Walk to Remember. And The Tender Stranger was published in, this was also published in 1999. So that's all the books I got from Half Price Books. And I got one more stack of books, uh, which uh, I got for Christmas. And these came from Amazon. My last stack here. And these I got from Amazon. You all know I love Grace Draven, so you know I had to get her. Um, I had to get Phoenix Unbound. I think this, when was this published? I think she, was this just published? Um, yep, published in 2018. So I had to get this. I'm going to read her whole. Uh, probably read all her books because I love Drake, Grace Draven. And this is Phoenix Unbound. I guess this is going to be a series, The Fallen Empire. Phoenix Unbound, Grace Draven. Yeah, if you haven't read any books by her, you need to. And next, I think I mentioned I was going to get The Simple Wild because I really enjoyed the book. I uh, got the book from the library and read it. Really, really enjoyed it. So, you know, I had to go and buy my own version. The Simple Wild, K.A. Tucker. Really, really enjoyed it. Excellent book. Check it out if you haven't read it. And next... Last book I got from uh, for, uh, for Christmas from Amazon is Through His Eyes, Deborah Camp. I think I've recommended this. I didn't have the book. I uh, got the book on my Kindle and I read it. I really, really enjoyed it. And this is a series. I think this is a three book series, but I only got, uh, I had this on my wish list on Amazon. I only had the first book um, because these books are expensive. It is not even that big, but these books are expensive and I didn't want to... Uh, I didn't want to put all three books on there for somebody to get for me. I can purchase the other two myself, but this is the first book in the series. Through His Eyes, Deborah Camp. And I really, really, I highly, highly recommend this. This is like a psychic um, romantic suspense. If you haven't read it, check it out. Through His Eyes, Deborah Camp. So these two I read. These two I highly recommend. If you haven't read them, check them out. And um, I got to read this one by Drace Grave. 
Grace Draven. I cannot pronounce her name. And when was this published? Did I tell y'all that? Uh, let's see here. August 2018. And this was published in, I think this was published. This has been out for a while. Oh, this is called, this is the, uh, the series is Mind's Eye Series. Mind's Eye Series. And this was published in, let me see here. Uh, um, don't tell me it's not in here. Oh, 2014. This was published in 2014. So that's all I have. That's, that's all my uh, gifts I got for Christmas for this year, 2018. I think I did, I think I racked up. I think I did pretty good. Santa was good to me this Christmas, so I'm very, very happy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Got a lot of books to read, but yeah, that ain't nothing new. Uh, <laughs> I got so many books here, but I don't care. I'm just very happy to get more books. But that's all I have for now. I'm going to be doing, probably do a couple more videos before this month is out. I think, uh... Tuesday is Tuesday the last Monday or Monday? I think Monday is the 31st. I think so. And uh, Tuesday will be the first. So hopefully I can get in a couple more videos before this uh, Monday's out. Because I want to do my, I'm going to do a top five books. Because I only read, most of the books I read this year, I gave them a three and a half stars. I only had a couple of books that I gave four stars or four and a half stars or five stars. So I'm going to, I'm just going to do, I think I got five books that I want to recommend that I really, really enjoyed for 2018. And it was another video that I want to do. I can't think of it right now, but yeah, I'm going to come back with a couple more videos before this uh, uh, month is out. Before December is out or this year is out. But for now, that's all I have. Keep reading those romances and I hope everyone had a great Christmas and continue to have a great Friday. And I'll see you all later. Bye.